I really thought this was gonna be easy. Rock, paper, scissors. That's it, right? Three choices, a winner, a loser. But what started as a simple project ended up feeling like a full-on boss battle. I opened my editor and I stared at the screen like, okay, how do I even start this? I knew what I wanted. The player picks a choice, the computer picks one, and the game tells you who won. But the second I started writing if and else, if, I got stuck. I'd look at my code and suddenly I couldn't even tell what I was trying to do. I knew the logic in my head, but translating that into code, that was the hard part. I thought about quitting halfway through. Seriously, I broke the code so many times, I wrote a loop and forgot to stop it, my browser froze, I refreshed, rewrote, broke it again. Every time I thought it was close, something else would go wrong, but I didn't give up because I had to know if I actually could do it. So I slowed down. I stopped thinking about the whole game and just focused on one thing at a time. First, I made a function to get the computer's choice. Just return rock, paper, or scissors. That's it. Then I made one for the player, simple input. Then I built a function to compare both, who wins, who loses, one if statement at a time. Little by little, I started to see some progress. That's when it clicked. This isn't about knowing everything. It's about breaking the problem into tiny, doable pieces. Every time I solved one small part, I felt more confident. I couldn't fix everything at once, but I kept moving forward. I was learning in real time. Through mistakes, I added a loop so the game could repeat until someone ended up winning five rounds, and of course, it broke again. Either it ran forever or it gave the wrong score or nothing happened at all. I kept adjusting. I'll change one line, test it, break it, fix it, repeat, and honestly, I learned more in those moments than I ever could from a tutorial. At one point, I caught myself smiling. Not because it was working, it wasn't, but because I realized I was thinking like a real developer. I wasn't panicking anymore, I was problem solving, I was debugging with a plan. That shift, that's what made this whole thing worth it. Eventually, it worked. I typed rock, the computer picked scissors, you win. I typed paper, it picked rock, you win. Then it beat me. It was simple, clean, exactly what I imagined. That moment after all that struggling felt so good. I look at the code now and I actually understand it. A week ago, I would have looked at the same file and been completely lost. That is growth, real growth. Not from finishing some course, not from watching someone else build it, but from doing it myself and not giving up when it got hard. I want to say this to anyone watching. It's okay to struggle. In fact, it's necessary. If you're feeling stuck, frustrated, confused, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. Keep pushing. Keep breaking your code. Keep rebuilding it because every time you do, you're getting better even if you don't realize it. This game might have been small, but what I learned was huge. I learned how to think, how to slow down, how to not let the bugs win. If you're on your own coding journey, don't compare yourself to others. Just build. Mess up, fix it, break it again. And one day, you'll look at your own screen and realize how far you have come. If this helped you feel less alone in your journey, I'm right here with you. I'll be building more, struggling more, and sharing every step. Hit follow, drop a comment with what you're working on, and let's grow together. Deuces.